I want to bring you another edition of a franchise in this show that we call You Can't Say That, where we highlight something you can't say or do or think. You're just not allowed to in 2024 America. Today's topic is personal, not for me, but for my producer, Lauren, who we snatched up a couple of years ago out of the beautiful state of California. Now, we love we love the weather in California, and we love Lauren. However, you know, it's it's basically the People's Republic of California. <laughs> and so we got lucky and found Lauren in Orange County. That was smart. Um, we got her, and now she is a producer working for The Megyn Kelly Show. But before that, she was a member of the USC Song Girl team. You probably never heard of the Song Girls, unless you're from Southern California. Well, let me tell you about them. The Song Girls, they're not cheerleaders. They have those too at the University of Southern California, but these girls are more of a dance squad. And they work hard, essentially athletes themselves, who perform at all the big football games and the other big university events. Here you see them. The USC Song Girl team is known for its rich history, tradition, and is recognized as an iconic symbol of the university spirit. The Song Girls, according to the website, are, quote, often referred to as the ambassadors of the University of Southern California. The dedication, the loyalty, the quest for continual improvement are hallmarks of the team, says the website. That sounds great. But then something strange happened. It happened quietly just a couple of weeks ago. The U.S. song girls, you see, were renamed. What happened to the USC song girls? Why were they renamed? There wasn't a big announcement. Instead, the song girls' website and social media accounts were just edited. The new name, the USC Song Leaders. In fact, the website URL just says USC Song. Now, just song. What's noticeably absent? Well, girls, of course. And the USC Song Girls are a team made up solely of girls and have been for each of the past 50 plus years in their existence. But suddenly the girls are gone. And now they are the song leaders. <laughs> in fact, you can look throughout the team's website and social media posts and the word girls doesn't appear at all. It has been scrubbed. So what happened? Well, we got a statement from USC's assistant director of spirit programs who told us, Spirit programs, which include the song team, spirit leaders, and mascots, and the Trojan marching band, were brought together as the Spirit of Troy in 2022. The Spirit of Troy is actively enhancing a welcoming and positive team environment. To include all students, the song team recently adopted the name Song Leaders a name they held in the early 2000s. Ah, there it is. Welcoming, include, you know where this is going and you know why this happened. Lauren may have been a song girl, but going forward, the future members of this team are going to be leaders only with no gendered phrases so as not to offend the LGBTQ blah, 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 crowd. They are the ones for whom this was undoubtedly changed. And undoubtedly, there will be a song boy who we just refer to as a song leader on the team sometime soon, if there isn't already. The next debate will be debate will be about what preferred pronouns we should be using for the song leaders. Do we say the song leaders would like to use the non-gendered bathroom? Uh, oh, this is the, the captain of the song leaders. She... The leader would like to ask for your support. Let's watch how this works for them. Because when you erase women and you erase girls, you're playing with fire. You are setting us down a path that is very, very dangerous for women in America. We don't count. Our testimonials don't count. Womanhood doesn't count, is no longer a thing. And the next thing you know, you've got babies being born and grown in incubators, and you've got chest feeding. If you're not able to say what a woman is, what a girl is, without finding those terms offensive enough that they must be scrubbed right out of existence, USC, who continues to believe that if you have a bunch of women 
on a dance team and you want to call them song girls, well, you can't say that. Oh, wait, this is America. There's a lot at stake in this upcoming election. But regardless of who is sitting in the White House, the fuse on the economy has already been lit. Even four years of a conservative presidency will not be enough to turn the tide on our $35 trillion national debt. And if the left wins, it will be like throwing gas on a dumpster fire. What can you do? Well, you do have options. You could protect your savings by diversifying into gold with the help of Birch Gold Group. Gold has stood firm in the face of greedy governments, economic upheavals, and global strife. And it could protect you right now. Birch Gold will help you convert an IRA or a 401k into an IRA in physical gold, tax-free and penalty-free. And it doesn't cost you one cent out of pocket. In the past four years, the buying power of the U.S. dollar has declined, while the price of gold has increased 40%. Coincidence? Text the word letters MK to 989898. Get your free info kit on gold and trust Birch Gold Group to protect your savings. Text MK to the number 989898 today. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.